I've always been interested in writing, reading letters to papers, little short stories, things like that. And that's how there's a book in everybody. Everybody can write a book if they put their mind to it. So I decided one day I would, when I retired. What do you write about? Something you know, which is me. I know me, I've got my memories of my childhood, so let's think about that. In a sort of a light-hearted, sort of tongue-in-cheek way. Uh, and I decided I've got to self-publish it because being a nobody, nobody wants to uh, give it a start, so that's what I did. I think the favourite memories would be uh, the, the fields, uh, the surrounds of Clang, the, 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 there was fields, there was there were swamps, marshes, uh, even a refuse tip was, it, it was manner to a kid, you know, in those days, we could, when we were close to uh, woods, trees, forest, climbing, all these type of things, we got canals, uh, we got pools to skate on in the winter, swimming in the summer, we, we had an, it, it was ideal. Today it's all built round, it's, it's not the clang that it was, which nothing ever is, it was the characters, oh there were some characters down Clangor, there was, you know, they're, they're named in the book, M Magic, everybody knew Magic, everybody knows about Magic and his stories and that was handed down. <laughs> My dad, my granddad, my, all my aunties and uncles, they all used to tell me. So as a kid, magic was about, well, he looked old to us, but I suppose he'd be in his 40s, 50s, and uh, some of the stories they, they tell me. We had some fun as kids uh, playing around with Frank. I remember one day, uh, it was 19, I think it was about 1945, just after the war, and he got a big microphone. You could hear him all over the village. And all of a sudden, he let me have a go on it. I remember shouting through it, has the baby been fed yet? And it was my mother feeding my brother who had just been born and Frank is broadcasting it all over the village, what's going on in our house. And very strict, uh, he didn't argue with her, she got a backhander. Um, I was sitting in the house one day and through the front window was sort of a gang of workmen pull up and get shovels out of the lorry and start digging a hole right in front of our, right in front of the house. So, my mother's out. What's going on here then? Sticking this pole here, Mrs. J.P. Alpert. You're not. You know, having a pile in front of my house. Well, we, we, you've got it, this is where it's got to go. It's got to be equal distance between, that's where it's got to go. She said, I ain't putting that pole there. If you put that pole there, I'll burn the bloody thing down, I'll tell you. And Frankie made him say, if she says she'll burn it down, she will do it. She said, wouldn't put it there. And anyway, next thing she's off down to the shop with a, the can. And she's going to buy some paraffin to burn it down. The, the fact that nobody seemed to have any side on them, that, that everybody was together, they all sort of... I miss going down there. When I walk down there now, I miss how it used to be. I'm going down there. Housing estate now, from the only from the one end, mind you. Uh, but it's changed. It's well, there's a bus service which we never had for a start off, and there's cars going down. Which it's I suppose it's the same how every village changed. It isn't the village anymore. It's part of part of the town. Sad, but that's it. That's life. Things change, don't they?